right up on your background. Like uh -huh. your uh, your your influences is quite interesting. Tell my audience about you know what influences your um, you know your your collections. Your I mean yeah. your design. Um, your type of d design, guys. Her <laughs> her fashion like influences crazy. Dude, right? <laughs> It has to come from her because it's just like anything. Do you mean the like weird like uh... Like the nurse, what is it, a nurse? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you have like all these crazy yeah, influences. Yeah, uh, it's sort of like uh, the clothes come out very classically because I really want to make stuff people can wear but it's often in the styling that the, um, I, I think because I went to a private school and I wore a un uniform and um, I've sort of had identity issues in my life I think which I've kind of worked through creatively I think and uh, so I'm always interested in um, sort of uniform type stuff, identity, medical type things. Yeah, um, oh, that's what just I'm all like functional um, things, like uh, 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 sort of like um, yeah, like uh, functional garments that would restrict you in some way or um, sort of control your yeah. identity. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, it comes out more in the styling for me. I'd say like for fashion shows, that's sort of where in accessories. Yeah. Um, because I don't the clothes like don't scream any kind of influence. They're just very wearable, classic. Uh, fun, youthful, whimsical type yes, clothes, yeah. but uh, there's like this darker side that kind of comes in more in an undercurrent, I guess. Yes, uh, it's true. Like, take for instance, so, yeah. this what you like. This is yeah, from your fall sort of 2011 dark, yeah. collection, right? I yeah, mean, that's right. It's like yeah. limited edition, guys. So yeah. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so the whole thing about you know your your designs being whimsical yeah. and you know classy mm -hmm. and you know so girly and and then you know with, with sort of having a, a twist thing. of a little bit of yeah. a darker theme this is, is sort so of true. like a, um like um some of the images like i was thinking of sure. um so this is sort of an image from the spring with the <laughs> eye patches and, and when uh, i first met you too really like <laughs> she, she, yeah you definitely do have that little bit of dark hair because i went to a fashion show guys this is Haley. i know i have a tendency of like not introducing my subject right away okay bear with me Bear with me. <laughs> but this is Haley from Birds of North America, a clothing company, clothing design. She's a designer, fashion designer for Birds of North America, based out of Vancouver, BC. Uh, based out of yeah. Montreal right oh, now, sorry. from Victoria. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's, it's okay. <laughs> and um, you know, so she's here in Toronto. Yeah, tell me why you're here in Toronto um, as well. I'm just showing the fall collection to uh, the stores that carry the line in Toronto. So I come out every season and kind of blitz uh, the nice. stores that carry it. So I've been lugging the uh, collection around. There's a fire alarm in the building today, and I had to take the samples down 20 oh, no. floors and down the stairs. Yeah. It was, oh no. I know it was uh, <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> oh, I hope this maybe this will like like you know influence your next collection. Yeah, that's right. I was definitely. <laughs> Damaged. <laughs> you know, like, definitely. But um, have you ever thought about showing uh, at uh, Mastercard? Uh, I'm sorry, World Mastercard Fashion Week here in Toronto? Uh, no, I haven't. I'd love to do a fashion show in Toronto one mm -hmm. day. Um, I'm sort of uh, uh, putting my effort into. I'm just starting to try to get into the U.S. a bit right now. So I've decided to kind of put my effort into that right now. But mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to do a show in Toronto. Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully in the next couple of years. So. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, because well, yeah, yeah. guys, I, I as I was saying earlier, I met her at Victoria. Fa was it uh, Vancouver Fashion Week, right? Um, or was it uh, the the in Ottawa the. Um, was it? Oh, oh no! Yeah, yes, fashion you're right. Cures. No. That's oh my gosh! It's cures. Ottawa. It's Ottawa Fashion Week. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Ottawa yeah, Fashion Week. Yeah. Uh, she had some like really sexy, awesome. sneaky, <laughs> sneaky socks. But that's another story. She's right with her accessories. <laughs> Are you gonna come out with an accessories line? Have you ever thought about that? Um, I don't know. I uh, I love the clothes, and I I don't want to. Um, uh, it's still a small business, and I'm I just got a bit of help in, but I pretty much do everything myself. So I'm trying oh, to wow. kind of stay focused on. The stuff that I'm best at and what matters most to me one day, but maybe as time goes by and it gets bigger, I'd love to do, uh, you know, yeah, maybe hosiery even or something. I think you'd be so. great because like you, Thank yeah, you, you make some really, you know, <laughs> I mean, it goes hand in hand with your with your with your clothing and with mm -hmm. your designs, but like your um, accessories, right? You got yeah, some pretty dope stuff. I'd enjoy doing that actually. I think yeah, it'd be enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it'll, it'll, it goes great. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she'll make some more stuff too with you know, that goes with her clothing because it's good. Um, so what else? What else can I ask, Miss Hale? How did you get into fashion? Um, I know that you're from. Yeah. You came from Ryerson University. Yeah, I went to yes. Ryerson, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess I started. Uh, I mean, it's the same story. Everyone says they started sewing at a young age. I, I just really was drawn to sewing. Like I had a little sewing kit when I was. 
five or maybe six, seven years old and just loved it. And I started disassembling vintage clothing. And uh, the funny thing is I didn't come to, f I, I've never been attracted to fashion really. Like that's m what most people have been attracted to. I just love clothes. And uh, you know, I never had a dream of, of seeing my designs in Vogue or like, like fashion show type stuff, which is sort of a, the more typical kind of thing. Yeah. I just, uh, I just love clothes. I want to work with clothes, um, and I still, I try to stay a bit on the outside of the fashion world because I, I don't, to be honest, feel really at, super at home. It's not like my scene, really. Oh, um, no. I sort of oh, more comfortable around like, um, like artists maybe and just like all sorts of creative people, but not there's, I mean, as you know, like fashion's so, there's it's such a scene and yeah. it's so big and um, I'm an introvert more, I guess, so. Well, you've got to like get out there. Yeah, I know, really. I'm working on it, but. Yeah, because you, you are a fashion designer now, so yeah, you really know, have to like, so. I mean, we know like the business could be quite yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. At times, but it's like as a designer, you yeah. really like gotta. Yeah. You know. I'm trying. I'm taking like the roundabout route. I'm kind of like. Oh, uh, you're trying to work your way, yeah. and then, like slowly. She's like, yeah, that's right. I'm like sneaking way. around <laughs> <laughs> to bed, so I'll get there. But it's just gonna be a different. <laughs> a different route. A different route. Yeah. She's going the money, money route. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe smart, I wish. <laughs> yeah. So, what does the future hold for Birds of North America? Um, God, I I just love doing this. I honestly can't see doing any anything else and uh, I just I just want to keep doing it um, and uh, I'd love to be able to do more fashion shows as time goes by and I try to make the collection better every season and I'm very grateful for the people uh, there are a lot of people who love the line and it means a lot to me so I just want to keep doing it sort of <laughs> so yeah. it's hard enough to just keep going in this industry sometimes so a lot of designers you know start and and stop and it's hard to kind of keep just trudging through it because it is hard getting a line off the ground and yeah. uh, it's very competitive and you kind of and you're by yourself right? yeah, yeah yeah so it's even harder for you as well and yeah i guess so i i didn't do i know a lot of lines i guess do a big launch like they get a financer and do a big launch and it's just not my style um i just I, I sort of need to do it my way, I guess. So mm -hmm. I'm, hap I'm happy even if it takes me 10 years longer to get somewhere. I, I just want to do it myself and do it my yeah, way. Yeah, you want to so, have control. Yeah, because yeah, it's like your big, it, like, yeah, that's cool. Though. Yeah, that's really good. My thing, so. You want to stay true to your designs. Yeah, that's right. Which is very good. That's yeah. a very good. Yeah, you're, you're definitely on your way. It's uh, important. Because a lot of times, yeah, a lot of times, a lot of designers, they, you know, they, they sell out. Yep, pulled like, in a million directions. Yeah. And, it's hard and to get lost, you yeah. know, and it's like it's not about their, their yeah. yeah, it's not about their the design. That's the most anymore. valuable thing you can have. I mean, you're a, one of the best examples of it. Like you have to find that thing that's that's you, that's special about you, because that's mm. the most valuable thing. You know, you can have. That's the most valuable thing in the world is mm. that thing. And I and I think people sometimes don't realize what they have, and they're quick to leave it for something that looks better. And you just true. gotta like hold that thing, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, so half the battle is figuring out what that thing is, and then the rest <laughs> of it gets easier once you figure it out. Yeah, you once you got it, it's it. like I'm holding on yeah, to it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> no, but that's a really that's a very good. Like you, you, you definitely got your head on your shoulders and your heart in the right Thanks. place, and your you know and a passion. Yeah. For yeah. you know what you do for your work. Yeah. And you're gonna go far. You're gonna be great. Thank like, you. you know, keep it up. Thanks. Um, I, you know, thank you so much. Oh, thank for, you. For uh, oh, you're welcome. Uh, it was such a I'm pleasure to meet you. Out here. <laughs> Honestly, it's such an incredible thing to have someone like you taking an interest in in smaller lines in Canada. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, really listen, wonderful. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> like, you know what? I feel it's really important for like a lot of these young designers yeah. to get play. And I notice a I lot of you young designers, it. you guys don't, you know, get the exposure that you yeah. know that is that you can get yeah you know yeah. that's available to you guys. like you know it's really not available to you guys as much yeah. and that's yeah a good point whatever yeah. but but thank you for saying those nice things <laughs> well, I mean and it. whatever i, I really could do yeah. and um i hope to see you at world mastercard fashion week i hope to cool. see you to and in new york i want to see at mercedes Benz. <laughs> you know i'm we're de i'm definitely going to like update you know next season I'm going to like, I want to cool. like update on I'm and on see it. where your project is. So. Give you like maybe another year, not maybe not next yeah, year. Yeah, give me a year. I'm yeah, on the slow road. I'm on the slow road. Yeah, I'm going to give you a year. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> yeah, you're taking I that extra year, long yeah. route. <laughs> maybe you should give that's it two. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Call me in five. <laughs> but, I'll, but I'll definitely love to um, cool. meet up with you That'd again and see where you're at. I'll let you know if anything exciting happens. Please do. Make sure. Yeah. Make sure. And I can't wait to rock my Birds of North America. <laughs> Haley, guys. <laughs>